after making some changes to my car the first part of the year, I haven't had a chance to really go back to the track to see any improvements. So before the track's closed for the year, I made it to three track outings trying to get my personal best. Here are the results. So my first track outing was at Summer Duck Dragway for a streetcar race they had. And the uh, car was pretty consistent all day, but it was very hot. So I knew I was going to get a, a real good personal best. But later on that evening, it cooled down a little bit and did get a personal best for me that day. But I was averaging about 831, 830, 831, 835, 830. My personal best, 827, almost 85 miles an hour. And an 830 at 84. Here's my one dragon. My second trip out <clears throat> was at Virginia Motorsports Park, and it was perfect weather that day. DA was like negative 30 or 40 something uh, when we got there, but it <clears throat> heated up a little bit, but not too bad. But this was my personal best ever with non PI heads. It's a 1292 at 102.7, and the eighth miles of one, uh, 819. At 81, and back that up with a 1293 and another 819 eighth mile pass. And then later on, when it was a little warmer, it was still in the 12s, just not as good. But 824 and the eighth, 825 and the eighth, and 1298 and 1299. So I've been my personal best, and uh, I'm very happy with that. Here's when I weighed the car that day, how much it weighs, and uh, also his uh, picture, uh, snap a uh, picture of the DA for that best run, and here's some draggy video.
third track out, and I went back to Virginia Motorsports Park for the Take It Off the Streets event, street cars, and <clears throat> the weather wasn't wasn't bad, but, I mean, it was a warmer day, so the DA wasn't that great, and I knew I wasn't going to get any personal best, and I decided to try some different things with uh, lockup on my converter with the SCT Advantage 3 that I had, just testing some theories that I read a lot about, and they say just lock up in second, and, you know, some people don't lock up at all, but uh, the way my converter's been uh, locking up with the program was uh, locking up in second and third. So I wanted to see if it made a difference, and this was my first run of the day, and this is with no lock up at all. And uh, for some reason, we didn't get quarter mile times on that run but you see a 836 in the eighth mile which i was like oh that ain't good so i went with my next tune and this is <clears throat> lock up no lock up in second gear but lock up in third and <clears throat> i went up 834 uh not much of an improvement uh, locking it up in third, but it went a 13-18. So, I mean, it still wasn't bad, but uh, I went ahead. I didn't do any back-to-back -back runs, so I went ahead and locked it up in second and third, the original tune. And uh, that they started out with good prep, and then it went to, uh, they were just kind of dragging it, and then kind of like, taking a garden sprayer and just spraying a little bit on the line so prep went down tremendously and on this one i just more or less just uh, blew the tires off and we stayed in it and went up with the 849 next run still spun a little bit but uh ended up with a 1319 Uh, next run, I run a 13.10 at, uh, 82 mile an hour. It's still spinning. On this one, they finally did a little track prep and, uh, came close. I almost got back into 12s, but, uh, fell short. 13.04 and 102. And then the last pass... <clears throat> quarter mile time on a slip so here's the draggy information on that with uh, no lock up
drag it comparison with lockup in third. So I did pick up some in the quarter mile with lockup in third.
My goal with the MPI heads was to at least run a 790 in the eighth mile. And uh, I don't know if I've tapped out the potential yet or not, but um, I want to hit 790s before I put this motor in. But I've got the itch to go ahead and start working on it. So I took the heads off and I want to get good valves and all done in it, uh, valve job. I got new uh, manly valves put in it. Give me a little extra piston to valve clearance and I got Cushman Motorsport Stage 2 cams uh, to go in it. But this is a WAP uh, motor out of a Explorer and it's aluminum so we drop a lot of weight with it and pick up a lot of horsepower and uh, I got the itch to put it in, but I also am not going to get in a hurry with it. So it might happen this year, might not. But if not, uh, I'll keep seeing how far I can go with the MPI heads. Like, share, and subscribe to see what we end up doing next.